the, the diagram shows the curve y equals 6 over the square root of 3x plus 1. The shading region is bounded by the curve and the line x equals 2x plus 9y equals 0. Show that the area of the shaded region is 4 root 7. <coughs> square root well, this is just, just the area. Um, so that is the area would be the integral from 2 to 9 of 6 over root 3x plus 1 dx. Now, we are going to be super careful that we're going into this with our eyes wide open and we don't think, oh, it's one of those fractiony things. It's got to be a natural log. Because that would be madness, wouldn't it, to think that. But that only happens if the power is 1. And bottom down, it's not. It's a half. So this is the integral from 2 to 9 of 6 lots of 3x plus 1 to the minus a half. Ah, we many of us have done core four now. We're all ready for core four now. So this is this is a simple integral. It's a kind of standard core four integral, isn't it? Um, so what's what's going to happen with this? As we integrate it, we've got we've got the six there. We need to divide by. We add one to the power and divide by the new power. So that'll be a half. We're also going to divide by the three. That's the coefficient of x from in there. And that's 3x plus 1 to the half, between 2 and 9. That little fraction at the start um, is actually, well, what have we got there? Is that 4 that that ends up being? We've got 6 over 3, which would be 2, divided by half, which makes it 4. 3x plus 1 to the half, between 2 and 9. Now we put the limits in. Uh, the 9 in there is going to give us... 3 nines would be 7 plus 1 is 28. Um, minus 4 lots of 2 threes would be 6 plus the 1 is 7. Root 28, well you can stick it into your fancy calculator now and it'll just give you a nice simplified third answer. But root 28, that's 2 root 7 isn't it? Because it's 4 lots of 7. So we only, we've got 8 root 7. Take 4 root 7, which leaves us with 4 root 7 as our answer for that. It wasn't a show that question, was it? Oh, it was, yeah. Show that it was 4 root 7. We did. So that's good. Okay, then it says, the shaded region is rotated completely about the x-axis. We've got to read that carefully just to make sure we know which way it's being rotated, don't we? Show that the volume of the solid produced can be written in the form K and then 2 where the exact value of the constant k is to be determined. Remember the volumes of revolution stuff? We've got the volume... It's the integral of chi y squared dx between the limits that we're dealing with. So we need to know what y squared is. Now if y is... 6 over root 3x plus 1. y squared is the square of that. So 36 over 3x plus 1. So that's what we're integrating now. So our integral is the integral from 2 to 9 of pi times 36 over 3x plus 1. The x. Um, there's, there's, a few, there's a few ways that we can think about this. I, I kind of almost think, knowing what we know now, this reminds us of one of those set core four integrals, doesn't it, where the, the top is the derivative of the bottom? It's kind of like that, isn't it? If, if we had a three on the top of this fraction, it would be exactly like that. I mean, why don't we, why don't we force that? Why don't we write it being 12 pi times the integral between 2 and 9 of 3 over 3x plus 1. Is that, is that a little bit contrived to do that? I mean, you, you probably wouldn't do that in core 3 days, but that feels kind of obvious now, doesn't it? Which would be 12 pi times, what, what does that give us now then? The integral of 3 over 3x plus 1 is... Is that another part? It's just the natural log 
the 3x plus 1, isn't it? Yeah? Remember that the rule that we've got from core 4 that says that if the integral of f dash dx over f of x, that's equal to the natural log of f of x. I call it Craig's rule for no particularly obvious reason. And that's what we're evaluating between 2 and 9. We've got the 12 pi at the start, so we've got 12 pi times some of these values, that's natural log of 28. Take away the natural log of, do we have 7 for that? Bring it together, we've got 12 pi times natural log of 4, because 28 divided by 7 would leave us with 4. It's supposed to end up with k ln 2. Now 4 is 2 squared, so that's 12 pi times natural log of 2 squared. Our laws of logarithm says the 2 comes down to the front. So I think I'll be there. 24 pi times the natural log of 2. And 24 pi is the value of k that we were looking for. Where did the 3 go? I, I maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done all this mess in the end of this bit here. Sorry. Um, if, if you, if we think of this, hang on, let's, let's just think of this. If we think of that as being 36 pi times the integral from 2 to 9 of 1 over 3x plus 1, okay, then your standard integral says that if you integrate that, we've got 36 pi times, that would be a third, wouldn't it, of the natural log of 3x plus 1. Okay, are you happy with that? Now a third times 36 is the 12 that I have there. So it, I just did it in a slightly different way. Are you happy, George? Oh, brilliant. Happy, George, is uh, George, who was happy. Stop the video.